The earlier statement released by the Egyptian foreign minister, um, it basically said that um, the escalations will be grave and the consequences, if no restraint has been followed, will be um, uh, catastrophic on uh, the Palestinians mainly, but also both sides. Egypt has been a key mediator in every episode of violence that breaks between the Palestinians, specifically those in Gaza and um, the Israelis. And if any country knows exactly how these uh, violent episodes or wars uh, break out and their consequences, it is definitely Egypt. The authorities here uh, usually get um, calls for help, for immediate support of food and medical supplies into Gaza. Meanwhile, as both sides have not been in direct um, communication or talks for a very long time, Egypt has been leading this role um, eventually to try to broker a peace. And this is what we've seen in the previous year. So this is what Egypt has been warning about, that the escalations are going to take this entire region, specifically, of course, the Palestinian crisis into a vicious circle uh, of violence. And this is also what has been, uh, we've been noticing from the statements by other Arab countries, including um, the League of Arab States, the Arab League's uh, Secretary General also released a statement uh, blaming um, Israel's um, uh, uh, right um, government of it, of using what it quotes as an extreme and violent uh, policies. And it also uh, blames the Israeli government uh, for being the reason of fueling this violence as it avoided all efforts to resume peace and put an end to this crisis. And as long as the crisis continues, that the Arab League's uh, opinion, violence will um, continue unless um, the international law is respected and the United Nations Security Council resolutions uh, for um, Palestinians to have their own state on the 1967 borders. The Arab League and many Arab countries as well do not believe that any calm will come to this region.